As you might have seen in my last video, I have a another new design for the CNC scroll saw. It combines the long vertical stroke of this design with a goal of achieving a much faster stroke rate of this design, but uses a stationary cutter head and a two axis moving workpiece along with the rotary components being off the actual moving part of the saw. I knew I wanted to mount the entire thing to a single sheet for rigidity since it was going to be stationary. So I started with this prototype on linear rails and the C-frame that I was using from before. As you can hear, the rails are pretty crunchy and I wasn't super happy with this. So then I switched to a single piece C-frame from plywood and V-rollers in the C-beam profile and this was very smooth. And I then upgraded the C-frame to a laser cut piece of aluminum and mounted the motor 90 degrees to where it was before and added a spring return since it's in the upright position instead of the horizontal position as I was testing it. One issue I quickly noticed was that the blade was moving almost up to a millimeter from the up to down stroke. And at first I thought it was the square shaft pushing it out of alignment because as you can see here with this little feeler gauge it's not parallel to the rail or to the backer board which I fixed by printing out a series of shims to get the exact right height but that still didn't fix anything. So it turned out that the two C-beam profiles that I'm using weren't the same height. The lower one needed to get shimmed out from the backer board and then here I'm using a continuity tester to get a much more accurate reading since the spring force from the style indicator will move the blade. And I also measured from the other direction but that was not as much of an issue. And it's pretty hard to show on camera but it now runs very true and I think I'm getting around plus or minus 0.1 millimeters which for a 0.2 millimeter blade I think is pretty good. Another area where I lose some precision is in the blade holder. They currently have a 1.5 millimeter hole with, that the blade slots into but if I don't get the blade concentric in the middle of that holder then as it rotates the movement is going to be off. One thing that kind of helps is this little 3D printed blade cover that I heated the blade and pushed through so it can only go through in the dead center aligned the right way and I have these just pressed onto the metal blade holder. I did try making a set of blade holders with a number 70 or about 0.7 millimeter hole in the end and I tried the same way as I did with the existing ones on a drill press and I only got about two millimeters in and the bit snapped. I tried this a few times and I couldn't get it to work. So I'll have to put that off until I can order a real machined part. And one more thing that helped the blade clamp was after looking at the Pegas, its blade chuck has a insert that lets it rotate freely as you're tightening down. Otherwise you start to move the blade as you tighten. I already had filed the main screw of my blade clamps smooth, but I also did that to the set screw and that's eliminated a lot of the movement as I tighten it. And I've added this dust collection system that swings into place with a hood that captures the dust really well. This is an inline duct fan and it's very quiet and should be good for continuous use since the saw is so slow.
Okay, well, I need to do some cut testing and hopefully have a video on that soon.